Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough! Before we get into some duels, let's explore this area, shall we? Now, uh, as this guy said here, you can save your game and uh, you can do stuff on the PC, but uh, the first thing that I'm actually going to be doing is changing the configuration of how slow this text is, because, yeah, I kind of like it fast. <laughs> I'm just gonna set it to that and exit the settings and I recommend you do the same because it makes collecting stuff and playing through the game a whole lot more fun and faster. But anyway, let's check the PC and read our mail. Ooh, I've got some mail! Would you look at that? Mark, it's me, Dr. Mason. Are you getting the hang of the Pokemon trading card game? I have some information for you about booster packs. If you want to collect the same cards, duel the same person many times to get a particular booster pack. By doing so, you will be able to collect the same cards, making it easier for you to build your deck. Another method for collecting cards is to use Card Pop. I won't be able to use that in this walkthrough because, you know, emulators and all. <laughs> when you and a friend use Card Pop, you will each receive a new card. Once you pop with a certain friend, you won't be able to pop with that friend again. So find many friends who own the Pokemon Trading Card Game for Game Boy and Card Pop with them to get new cards. Oh, here's something for you. I got a booster pack! And let's see what we get from the Coliseum booster pack. Oh, computer search! Very nice card. This allows you to search your deck for any card as long as you discard two cards from your hand. Uh, that's not too shabby of an uh, early game card. This could combine well with the Rattata that I got in my deck. Uh, that could be good for Arcane on a little later. Whenever you see a card with a GB symbol, that means it's a GB exclusive card. Oh, and by the way, the symbol next to that, a circle, means that it is a common card. Um, cards that have diamonds are uh, uncommon, and cards with stars are rares. Got it? Good. Anyway, let's keep moving on here and taking a look-see through the cards. Uh, Abra, Kadabra, and Alakazam are nice for a psychic deck, but I don't really have that many psychic cards just yet. Might add this to balance out my uh, Pikachu arsenal in this deck. Uh, that's an iffy card, because uh, if you, Tails, the attack does nothing, yeah. <laughs> Uh, Diglett's not too shabby, and you get a water energy. Alright, well this- it, Oh wait, shoot, 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 did I just click through that too fast? Uh, wait, 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 hold on, hold on. Okay, here's something for you, you got the booster pack. I'll be sending you useful information by email. I'll also attach a booster pack for you, so check your mail often. Mason Laboratory. Dr. Mason. Winky smiley face! Okay, let's move on here. Um, going to the glossary, you can check all sorts of stuff regarding the game, and yeah, even an extra page, but yeah, we don't have to do that. And the card album is the collection of cards and whatnot. I don't really have to go through those, but basically, you want to fill this up if you want to get 100%, so get all the cards filled up in this album for each of these booster packs. Got it? Good. Just keep battling the people that have those particular packs and you'll eventually fill it out. Gathering yeah, information is important if you wish to inherit the legendary Pokemon cards. Listen to what people have to say! And read the books on the bookshelf. Okay, I will, I will. If I have any information, I'll send you on an email. So check the PC every so often to read your mail. Alright. Uh, eight club masters each own a master medal. The secret of each club's deck is encrypted in its master medal. Once you get a master medal, go to the computer room and back. You can place the medals in the auto deck machines to create different decks. And you can also check stuff on the uh, bookshelf. But can I check this? No, I can't check that. I just wanted to see that for fun. Uh, I never checked that. I mean, I don't remember checking the boards before. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's just sort of like lingo and whatnot and stuff that I'll pretty much be covering in the videos anyway, so I probably won't be going through these very thoroughly. <laughs> but if you'd like to check out these uh, bookshelves along the way, you can be very more than welcome to. Because <laughs> there's quite a lot of bookshelves in this game. Like, there's, there's some more over here, too. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just so, so much stuff to check out. And yeah, as I said, I'm going to be going through this stuff anyway. Yes, I would love to get the legendary Pokemon cards. I want to collect everything. Everything. <laughs> so yeah, we gotta get the medals from the eight masters of the card clubs and whatnot. So yeah, that is our goal. Wait a second. Eight medals? Hmm. This seems awfully familiar. 
awfully familiar. Hmm. <laughs> So yeah, and you can also get booster packs from beating people. So keep in mind which people have which kinds of booster packs because the booster pack you get is the same one depending on... I mean, the same one which each person you duel. So when you duel someone, you'll get that kind of booster pack. Uh, yep, uh-huh. Pretty much, I've played through this game before. <laughs> so... It's recommended that you, that you build different decks to combat each of the different clubs individually, but it's not really all that necessary in my opinion. Oh yeah, and uh, Sam over here. Uh, you can check the rules of the game, like remember uh, this stuff right here. Uh, the only thing that I really really show you about is the Pokémon power. Some Pokémon have special abilities called Pokémon power. Some Pokémon power is used as soon as the Pokémon is played. While others must be used by choosing the Pokémon power command. There are many different Pokémon powers, so each, read each card text carefully. So, yeah, that's this kind of stuff that you can do over there. Now, over here in this room is where the Master Medals are used. Like, see, this this computer is not on. It's a Fighting Metal Auto Deck machine. It isn't working since the Fighting Metal is not inserted. Uh, but this one is working, so let's check this one out here. So, you can build these five decks here automatically as long as you have the cards for them. Now, believe it or not, the Charmander, Squirtle, and Bulbasaur and Friends decks here at the top are actually different than the starter decks that you get from Dr. Mason. So if you'd like, you could uh, uh, check these out to see what kind of cards and whatnot that you would be able to use in such decks, but I don't really know how helpful this is to you because you don't have these cards yet, so I think I'm just going to let you check out these decks for yourself. Uh, isn't the auto deck machine great? As long as you have the necessary cards, this machine will automatically build a deck for you. Yes, it is convenient. Ho ho! Won't you duel me to test your deck? I don't recommend you duel Aaron, actually. You'll probably lose. He's decent at the game, and you don't have a very strong deck yet. <laughs> if you win, I'll give you a booster pack, but it only contains energy cards. Uh, but if you say yes, you'll be able to choose a deck you want to duel against. And he's got uh, one for all the elements. Like you see, lightning, fire, water, fighting, grass, grass and psychic. If you click one, and then if you choose no, you can choose... Yeah, not to duel him, <laughs> which I'd recommend you don't, because as I said, he's pretty decent this early in the game. Unless for some reason you really, really need energy cards, <laughs> which I very, very much doubt since you got a starter deck here, and you don't really have the cards to support the energy cards, and you already got the energy cards for your current deck, so yeah. Um, so this deck machine right here, off to the left with the, the little zippy, zappy heart monitor machine there, <laughs> is a deck save machine. You can use it to save the configuration of the starter decks, and yeah, these are the actual starter decks of the game right here. So yeah, if you'd like to see them, go right ahead, but uh, I'm just gonna move on here and head over to the Grass Club because I just wanted to give you the lowdown of what the heck's going on at the Mason Laboratory. Now, um, I think I'm gonna go take a peek see at the Fighting Club here first. Uh-oh. Well, getting the Fighting Metal wasn't that hard. If I keep this up, I should be able to get the legendary Pokemon cards. What? It's you, Mark. What are you doing? Huh? That's a deck! Are you trying to get the legendary Pokemon cards? Why? Yes, I am! What? I can't believe it! You! Legendary Pokemon cards? <laughs> that don't make me laugh! Alright, listen up. I'll teach you what it's about. To inherit the legendary Pokemon cards, you must defeat the eight club masters and get the eight medals! Then you have to go to Pokemon Dome and defeat all four of the grand masters there. Man, this sounds really familiar, doesn't it? <laughs> There's no way you can do it. You might as well just give up and go home. Cause the legendary Pokemon cards are gonna be mine. I already won the first medal. See ya, Mark! <laughs> Ronald is your rival. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I came here to uh, check some stuff out, to get some stuff set up in the future here. Here at this club we duel using fighting Pokémon. No dirty dueling is allowed! Only nice clean duels allowed in this club. But if you go in here, as you're gonna see this guy here, I am Mitch, master of the fighting club. I have to warn you that you will be unable to defeat me. If you wish to duel with me, you must defeat my pupils first. My pupils are training at other clubs, so... We gotta find three of his pupils at other clubs. That's what I would like to note here for the future. Remember to look for the fighting guys in other clubs so we can set up the fighting club for the future. Got it? Good. Alright, let's go over to the grass club and get ourselves dueling here. All members of this club are girls. But I can't be girls who are this tough. Huh? You must be Mark. Mitch told me all about you. 
beating you will be much tougher, much better than losing to the girls. Yeah, this is one of the fighting club guys, but I'm not gonna duel him right now. I just I actually want to get started on the uh, uh, grass metal here, so I'm just gonna move up to the top room here. Welcome to the grass club. This club is for girls who love to grow flowers. The Pokemon cards used here are also beautiful flowers. So all girls at a grass club. Hmm, this sounds familiar, doesn't it? <laughs> so anyway. Let's take a look-see around here. Well, there's not really all that much to see, but I could would like to chat with you first here. Master Nikki is out right now. Where did she go? That's a secret. Hmm, let me see. If you defeat three members of the Grass Club, I'll tell you where she is. So how about it? Yeah, I'll take you on! Bring it! So she's got the Kaleidoscope deck, which is a deck that has many different elements. Her strategy is to knock out Pokémon by matching with the weakness of said Pokémon on your arsenal, but she's not very good at doing it. <laughs> let's just put it that way. Um, let's see here. For a starting hand, this is pretty decent. I think I'm gonna slap down Meowth... I'm mean, not Meowth, Machop here. Uh, play Pikachu to the bench, and slap Meowth to the bench. That's a Game Boy exclusive Meowth, by the way. Well, to an extent. Uh, a Game Boy uh, Meowth promo card came with the game, but the effect of its attack is a little different. Anyway, let's get this duel started! And if I get a heads, I get the playoff! First, I get second. So this is where we the first real duel of the game starts. Yep, real deal, big time danger right here. Oh man, I'm so scared! Actually, no, she's really... Really easy to beat. Oh, Professor Oak, that is a nice card. Anyway, well, I'm gonna attach a little fighting energy to Machop here, and if you take a look at Porygon here, I pressed and held B and then pressed up to check her side of the field. It's a little shortcut. You can press B and down to check your side as well. Uh, B and right for your discard pile, B and left for her discard pile. Start to check the field and whatnot. Yeah, it's, it's all sorts of little shortcuts that I'll give you along the way. Uh, Porygon! This is a really funny Pokémon. Its weakness is fighting, so I'm gonna knock it out in one hit, because uh, weaknesses do double damage. Uh, but this is a Pokémon that has no attacks, but you can change the types of stuff. See that? And that's a part of her strategy for her Kaleidoscope deck, because she can change stuff to her advantage. But before it does that, I am going to wipe out that sucker. <laughs> Alright, and I'll take that prize card like a pro. And... Just plopping a, a Game Boy exclusive Diddle to the bench. Uh, oh! Double colorless energy, that's... That's a spicy meatball right there. It's one of the best energy cards of all time! But uh, she didn't get heads there, she did, so she didn't get an increase of her damage output. Alright, so... What should I do here? Should I power up Pikachu? I am thinking I should, and Low Kick will do double damage because Eevee's a, a colorless Pokémon with a weakness of fighting. So, what you got here? Another Ditto, really. <laughs> so many Dittos! So early in the game! And those Dittos can transform into other Pokémon in the deck, by the way, so... Yeah! Uh, oh, that's not good. <laughs> and it's gonna be on the ropes with 10 HP left. I could swap out Machop, but I think, well, I don't know. Maybe I should swap it out. Eh. No, I won't swap it out, but I will get Magmar powered up here. Just to get things set up for the future. Magmar doesn't have very much HP, or at least that ma version of Magmar does, but it's got some pretty powerful attacks, so... Uh, Get that bad boy set up on your bench and not out on the field, otherwise it's probably going to be demolished because it only has 50 HP. And this is most certainly going to knock out Machop no matter what the coin flip is. That's too bad, but I am one prize card ahead regardless. So now I'm going to... Should I plop out Magma or should I stall with Pikachu? I'm thinking I'll stall with Pikachu because I have more powering up to do with Magmar. So yeah, uh, Magmar here, it's got Fire Punch for 2 Fire for 30, and then it's got a Flamethrower. It's 2 Fire and 1 of anything. Discard 1 Fire Energy card. That's why you need to power up uh, Magmar to get the best use out of it, because if you don't keep him powered up, you won't be able to attack with him uh, with his best attack turn after turn. Now, what I'm going to be doing here is a good old-fashioned no. Nom 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 nom. <laughs> Just gnaw right on the neck of the poor Eevee. And of course, she's gonna quick attack. 
And she failed. Well, to an extent, they'll still do 10 damage. If that quick attack gets ahead on the next turn, uh, Pikachu will be knocked out. But that's, you know, not gonna happen, because I'm gonna retreat, switch to Magmar, uh, attach a fire energy to Magmar, and attack with a flamethrower! Woo! And Eevee is down. One more prize card to go, and it's a ditto. Okay, so it's got 50 HP. If I use another flamethrower, it will be the end of the match. For the win, here we go. Any energy card, really, because, you know, one star of anything. Flamethrower, prepare yourself for the first victory. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Feel the excitement. And when you beat someone, you get two booster packs of the same kind. Here we go! Let's see what we get! I can't believe I could lose! I got a Coliseum Booster Pack! And let's see what we get! Oh! Kangaskhan! That is a great Pokémon! Uh, it's got Fetch. For one energy card, you can draw a card. That allows you to get your hand filled up with all sorts of stuff, deck filtering and stuff like that. And uh, Comet Punch isn't too bad if you power up a double colorless energy, because then it just takes two of them. Um, and you can do up to 80 damage with that. 80 is uncommon, but uh, 20, 40, and 60 are the most common, so it's a, it's a relatively reliable attack. Uh, so yeah, let's see here, Nidorino, um, eh, sorta iffy, it's Nido King Evolution is probably the best of the best there. Uh, Dugong is very, very nice for uh, uh, water decks or multi-type decks that use water because of its 3 energy Aurora Beam of 50 that has no discard like Magmar. And uh, you can also paralyze with uh, Ice Beam. Professor Oak, yeah! If, if you want to know why I like Professor Oak so much, it's because you discard your hand and draw 7 cards. Well, that sounds bad, discarding your hand, but... This is the kind of card you play when you want to gain more. Like, you could have zero cards in your hand other than Professor Oak. You could play Professor Oak and just draw seven cards. Incredibly broken and awesome. Uh, another Abra, you've seen that. Uh, Ponyta, you've probably seen already, I believe, uh, in the deck. That's another Game Boy. Seen that, seen that, seen that. And a Grass Energy. Okay. Oh my god! Chansey! One of the rarest cards this early in the game. It's one of the best stall- I should say, it is the best stalling card in the game. Scrunch allows you to prevent all damage done to Chansey during, uh, during your opponent's next turn. And with 120 HP, um, yeah, it's gonna take the opponent forever to knock out Chansey. Uh, we've seen that Magmar. Oh, Plus Power is a fantastic card. Uh, it don't- it, it doesn't seem like it'll do much, because it only increases the, the, the attack power by 10. But, oh, you definitely love... I mean, you'll love plus power once you see that card in action, I assure you. Ooh, Staryu is a pretty good basic Pokémon. Uh, one energy for 20. Those kinds of Pokémon are quite good, like Machop, uh, Rotata, Staryu, uh, Hitmonchan. Anything that has one energy for 20 damage is quite a good card. Um, like a guaranteed 20. Uh, I've seen Diglett and a Grass Energy. I need to practice more. Yeah, you do. That Kaleidoscope deck definitely needs work. But speaking of working on our deck, as I said, our deck isn't really the best. So let's use the cards that we gain to get the most out of this here. Um, we already got a pretty nice card here in Arcanine, but you know we don't really have much to search it out. So we gotta hope that we get Arcanine plus Growlithe. So yeah. Uh, <laughs> Let's look through our lightning Pokémon here. We already are stocked up with Pikachus. By the way, the uh, maximum, amount of, maximum amount of cards that you can have uh, of one single copy is four. So keep that in mind. Uh, I don't know if I'll go... I don't know if I'll increase the amount of these Pikachus, because I'm, I'm happier with uh, the Magnemites, actually, because it's got Thunder Wave. Uh, if Head's defending Pokémon is now paralyzed. I mean, Raichu isn't bad, it's just a thing of that... Uh, it's, it's, it's in a similar situation to Arcanine, where it's early game kind of stinky deck. <laughs> because anyway, Raichu uh, allows you to prevent damage on your next turn, uh, and effects of attacks. Just like Chansey, except a little better than Chansey in that way, only it has less HP. Uh, Zapdos is actually kind of an iffy Pokémon, in all honesty, because it requires very specific energy types. So I'll probably drop that, and uh, plop in another... 
I don't, I don't know, actually. Mm, well, I definitely want to put in a pr another Professor Oak, because I got that Professor Oak. Uh, I had a plus power in here already. Yeah, that's probably as good as my trainer cards could get at this point in time. I could add another computer search, I guess. Uh, yeah, I guess I will. I'm two cards over, and, uh... uh colorless Pokémon can be used with pretty much any deck, by the way, so I might just want to, yeah, beef them up a little bit. I'll drop uh, Meowth, and... Uh, yeah, it's all about... I mean, in your deck building, it's all about figuring out what will work for you, basically, with whatever cards you have. You want to aim for basic Pokémon that can stall or control the game, uh, such as, uh, as I said, Raichu with the agility thing. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of glad I dropped Zapdos. <laughs> hmm, um, Diglett and Dugtrio are kind of... I mean, they, they have decent attacks, but their HP is so, so low, and... Uh, yeah, maybe I'll... I don't know. I guess I could sort of kind of keep them. I'm so indecisive! Arr! <laughs> uh, how about I drop... Two Ponytas, because their energies are kind of iffy. And yeah, I'm going to leave that Magmar at one. Let's see here. By the way, Charizard is, isn't too shabby of a card here. Um, at least this early in the game. It's, all, uh, it's Pokemon Power is always on, and it ch it'll change whatever color of energy cards you have attached to Charizard to Fire Energy, which will allow you to use Fire Spin very easily, except that it makes you discard two energy cards. But 100 is overkill for pretty much everything, so if you're using Fire Spin, you will be knocking out a Pokemon. Uh, I just seem to ditch one more card, because you can only have up to 60 cards in your deck, and you can see the count at the upper right corner there. <laughs> I know I'm being indecisive here, and I apologize, but it's a matter of thinking here. Maybe I'll... Uh... Hmm. Maybe I'll drop Chansey, just for now, then I'll save the deck. And there we go, we are good for the next part. So, what I'm gonna do here is end off the parts. I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you in the next part.